Now we will look at key elements in a Polaris item record. You can access an item record by scanning an item barcode in the quick search box or opening the find tool and performing an item record search. Make sure the find tool is set to look for item records. If not, click on the first column to change what type of record you're searching for. After typing a search, you'll see a list of results. Double clicking on an entry will open up the item record. You can also access an item record from a bib record. In a bibliographic record, select the local items or items tab. This will give you a list of all the items associated with this bib record. Double click on the item record you wish to view. The item record will open up in a new work form. Clicking the eye information icon will display the item record properties, including the item record ID, a control number unique to this record. The item header is static and will display no matter which tab you're viewing. The header contains important information such as the item barcode, call number, collection, shelf location, and more. Here, you will also be able to find the bib control number. The bib control number links back to the bibliographic record the item belongs to. You can click this number at any time to open the bib record in a new work form. The header information is edited in the details tab. Only users with editing permissions will be able to change this information. The circulation tab contains information associated with the item's most recent transactions, such as due date, current user, and last check-in date. The controls tab displays the item's settings, including loan and fine policies, renewal limits, and hold policies. Again, you will be able to edit these settings if you have the proper permissions. Blocks and notes will display any library blocks or staff notes that are associated with the item. The blocks do appear to staff in a pop-up when they both check the item in and check the item out. The history tab shows the item's transaction history, such as when it was checked out, checked in, and put in transit. While up to two years of transaction history will appear in this tab, it does not display any associated patron information. Statistics displays circulation and inventory data for the item. Polaris counts both the checkout and any renewals in the circulation statistics. The record sets tab lists any record sets that this item appears in. Record sets are saved lists of item records, bib records, or patron records created by library staff. They're used for things such as bulk record changes, sub-collection groupings for projects, and weeding. If the item is currently checked out and the patron has received notices for the item, such as a reminder notice or an overdue notice, the notices tab will include a date time stamp of when each notice was issued. This data will be reset once the item is checked in. Finally, the source and donor tab includes information related to the acquisition of this item. Moving to the top right of the record, we see some options. The Actions drop-down menu includes item-specific functions, such as checking the item in, placing an item level hold, and adding the item to a record set. Links will give you access to related LEAP workforms, such as the Holds queue for this title. The Refresh button will refresh the record and display any changes just made. If you access the item record through an item search using the Find tool, you will see a Results button. This option will close the item record and bring you back to the list of search results. Selecting Close will close the item record and return you to the last open work form you were using. Thanks for taking this tour of the Polaris item record. If you have any questions about item records, please email help at ccslib.org.